so I'm done with my Sam's trip so I'm gonna do my my next vlog because I, I had something I wanted to tell y'all about so I wanted to tell you why I decided to do YouTube so um, I'm a certified public accountant so I'm a CPA I have been for a whole bunch of years um, I've had my license for mm, probably 25 years and uh, yep I'm not a spring chicken <laughs> I'm sure you already figured that out but um, I had a very good career I started out with CPA firms I was an auditor for a lot of years and then and then I did um, I did taxes as well and I had my own CPA firm for eight years it was very successful um, but then my husband um, he had to uh, move because the job that he was working at they laid off his entire division so we had to move and uh, when we moved I decided I wanted to get into healthcare. so I've always wanted to help people and you know make a difference and stuff like that so I never wanted to be a doctor or a nurse and <clears throat> I was getting kind of burnt out on taxes and auditing and stuff like that so I went into healthcare. I was in healthcare for a long time many years and I ended up as a chief financial officer and a chief operating officer of a hospital um, I've worked at both really large hospitals and really small ones and after all these years of working in accounting, you know, as CPA, even at my highest role, I just never really felt fulfilled, right? I just didn't feel like, like I still felt like I was missing something. And I was kind of getting burnt out on it, you know, after doing that for so many years. And you tend to do the same things, you know, over and over. Um, I just thought, gosh, I really don't know what I want to do, and I prayed about it a lot, and I thought about it a lot, and at that time, my kids were uh, to the point where they were getting real interested in the internet. You know, they were like eight, nine, and so they started watching YouTube, and of course, as a mother, I had to watch what they were watching because I had to make sure that what they were watching was okay. Because I wasn't gonna let them watch something that I wasn't okay with. And they were watching a few people who played uh, Minecraft. My kids like Minecraft. And actually, I played Minecraft with them, strangely enough. <laughs> and um, they really wanted to do a YouTube channel. And I said, no, nope, you're too young. We're not doing a YouTube channel. And they said, well, how about you do a YouTube channel? And, you know, we were watching all these vloggers and uh, people who were playing the games and stuff. And I was fascinated by all of the creators on YouTube. I thought, gosh, this is really cool. And, of course, I always have done crafts and things like that to kind of decrease my stress. And just because I really like it. I've always liked doing crafts. And so I was like, no, I don't really want to be a gamer. It's not really my thing. I'm just too old for that. I'm just not that interested. I get bored with it quickly. But I thought, well, maybe I could do my wreaths. And it took me about a year to build up my courage to do it. And so I finally decided, well, I was gonna start a channel and I started a channel and just was putting up videos and um, I mean the the support that I got from it was quite amazing and I I started off watching Trendy Tree and that's one of the reasons why I was real interested in it because I really liked them and um, I thought gosh I want to do that so I started putting my videos out there. And then after that, I found um, Nancy Alexander, Ladybug Reads, 
And then after that, I found Julie, so the Tremories. And that's when I started going over to Facebook and doing, you know, I did my things on Facebook and I have grown um, quite a bit on Facebook. I have about 125,000 followers. Um, I have like 75,000 on YouTube. And on YouTube, of course, the subscribers is not as important as the number of views. And I get hundreds of thousands of views every month and I was shocked <laughs> by all of that. So I spent a lot of time researching YouTube and I ended up taking some really well-known, very expensive courses on, you know, what to do on YouTube and how to do it well. And I did a lot of experiments between Facebook and YouTube, seeing what worked for me. And what I found out, at least for me, I can't say, you know, for everyone else, but almost all of my sales and everything I have accomplished has come from YouTube. It has not come from Facebook. Even though I have more um, followers on Facebook, I still get way more out of YouTube. YouTube's my passion. Facebook, I really don't like very much. And the thing that I love about YouTube is that YouTube is all about its creators. So when you put a channel up on YouTube, you become a YouTube creator. And I really liked that they're, it, they're supportive, the people on YouTube are supportive, and I like that you don't have to become so focused on YouTube that you can't do other things. So, like I can do vlogs on my channel, I can do wreaths, I can do signs, I can do any kind of craft I want to. On YouTube, you can do that. You can add a whole bunch of different stuff to your channel and not get bored and stuck, you know, in what you're doing. So that's why I am just so thankful that I found YouTube and that it has made such a big difference in my life. I, I made, I was very good at my career as a CFO and I made high six figures, but I wasn't happy and I really kind of wanted to be home with my kids and being on YouTube and growing my business on YouTube has allowed me to quit my big income job and replace that with what I'm doing now. I find so much more fulfillment in what I'm doing now and I'm telling you this because I want to encourage you that if you are not happy in what you're doing, life is too short, find something else. Because if you spend time, if you work at it, then you will succeed. But you better have something that you really are passionate about because otherwise you aren't going to want to put in that much work. So that's my two cents and why I got on YouTube. So I hope this helps somebody out there. And anyways, I will see y'all again next week. Thanks for watching. Bye y'all.